ka chika pai welcome to my youtube channel Ooh, that's a good one jeremiah 29 11 for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you hope and a future amen that's a that's a that's a powerful scripture indeed against spiritual warfare thank you for sharing that um yeah god god is when god's for you who could be against you and i believe when god's for you he has plans to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you hope in the future um, love that God. God loves us. He wants us to to do good. So that's yeah, a powerful one against um, the devil, against him in spiritual warfare. Correct. Uh, any other scriptures, guys, that speak to your hearts um, when it comes to the hard times? Thank you, J.K. Spencer. At the cellar, um, if if, there, if you're experiencing. Uh, Wi-Fi or problems or anything. Whenever you're ready, please you can request, and I'll accept you back on the stream. Um, but thank you for. Uh, if, if you're not able to join again, uh, we just want to say at this set so Islama. Thank you for uh, coming on the show, and singing for us. And we're very encouraged by your life. Um, but yeah, we'll hope that she can come back. It was nice meeting you in person, by the way. This is my first time in your stream. Wow! Welcome to the stream, J.K. Spencer. Um, did we meet at the Kumkan? Thanks for joining, though. Um, guys, also want to say a big thank you to uh, all of you guys for the support, the virtual gifts that you have sent. We're at half a million diamonds. Talaga, grabe, five hundred one thousand diamonds. Some, I believe, Andre Warriors sent like above a uh, thousand hollow hollows. That was uh, awesome, but. Yeah, um, big thank you to every single one of you. Okay, Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 11. Thank you, Jamie, for the comment. Ephesians 6. 6, 10 to 11. Oh, beautiful. The armor of God. Yes. I love that. So in Ephesians, um, in the book of Ephesians in the New Testament in the Bible, it goes to explain that we have to put on the armor of God. So I told you about the word of God being your spiritual sword, um, sharper than any double-edged sword. When we say sword, we're not talking about like a, a materialistic sword. We're talking about a sword of the spirit because uh, we know that we go through spiritual warfare, um, especially when you walk uh, your life for the glory of God, giving your heart to God. The devil hates that, and he wants to attack you. So we have to put on the armor of God. Um, so here in Ephesians uh, 6, 10 to 11, it says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Now, it also touches based on those pieces of armor. There's like the, the breastplate of righteousness, the, I believe, the belt of truth. Let's see. So this is Ephesians 6. Let's go into it. This is the New Living Translation of the Bible, and I want to touch up on that, where it explains the types of armor. The whole armor of God. Okay. I might as well read this whole section. Okay. The whole armor of God. A final word. Uh, this is verse 10. Be strong in the Lord and put and in his mighty power. Sorry. Be strong in the Lord and in his be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in the dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so that you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, 
you will stand, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the armor and the body armor of God's righteousness. So the body armor of God's righteousness, the belt of truth, is what he's saying here. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news that, that so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. I love that scripture. That's where it is. In addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Uh, so that puts a picture in my mind where the devil is just like shooting little fiery darts at your thoughts, at your brain. He's trying to put in these little fiery things that plants a little seed that will flourish into your overthinking and irritation and anger and um, impulsiveness, all these things. But when we hold up the shield of faith, you have your faith, you know in what's heart what is good and true. You believe in God and his goodness no matter what his promise, that's your faith. You hold that up. You can if you want to actually do this, but you just hold your you hold on to your faith as a shield against that. And uh, as we continue to read, put on salvation as your helmet, and take the word of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Oh, sorry, and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. So salvation, you have your salvation as a helmet. Um, and your sword, which is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And it continues to say, pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. So this is in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 18. 10 to 18. And that will help you a lot um, in spiritual warfare putting on the armor of God. Uh, so if we study up on each one of these uh, pieces of armor, um, you'll be much better prepared and equipped to, to overcome the devil. Uh, so we have your salvation, hold on to your salvation, the helmet. Um, your shield, which is faith, so faith, salvation. The word of God, your sword. God's righteousness. The body armor, God's righteousness. Shoes is peace that comes from the good news. So you have peace. And the belt of truth. Truth, I love it. Truth, peace, um, faith, salvation. Truth, peace, faith, salvation. And God's righteousness. God's righteousness truth it's a a great thing to reflect on thank you for commenting that scripture um yeah it reminds me of what to hold on to when i go through spiritual warfare everybody goes through it it's not like one day it's gonna be poof no more attacks no more spiritual warfare um uh, but i believe that will definitely change when christ returns when god returns which we do not know when but when he does it he will that's when we're going to be like, oh, praise the Lord, no more of this um, schemish devil. But we have to be patient and have trust and faith that God knows what he's doing and he has the right timing for everything. <clears throat> Kamusta? How is everybody doing in the comment section below? We have 2 Corinthians 10, 4 to 5. Okay, let's check that out. 2 Corinthians 10. Fully obedient, 
we will punish everyone who remains disobedient. Look at the obvious facts. Those who say they belong to Christ must recognize that we belong to Christ as much as they do. I may seem to be boasting too much about the authority given to us by the Lord, but our authority builds you up. It doesn't tear you down. So I will not be ashamed of using my authority. Okay. So it's Paul defending his authority, saying, We use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and destroy false arguments. Yes, so... <clears throat> false arguments, accusations, um, evil, people who are led by the darkness and hate, who, which hate flows from their heart. Um, it's by God's mighty power that you're able to, to knock down those things. Um, for if we depend too much on our own, ourselves, without the strength from God, we would just find ourselves getting into big strife, core, and argument, and even war. Um, but it's only by the power of God that we're able to knock those things down. So thank you for sharing that scripture. Because um, I believe when we approach those things of, of key accusations, people hating on you, um, you're going to need a lot of patience. You're going to need to recognize when it's going to a place where it's not going to show love. There's not going to be love in there. It's, it's just going to lead into strife and arguments. Um, and it's, it's when you pray before going into that and being prepared spiritually with God. Um, full of, where you give your words, your mouth, your thoughts, your heart to God, that he takes control and guides you in that. Um, where you will be able to uh, fulfill God's uh, purpose for you to do with that person, to teach somebody, to, to have, go in an argument. You go with the wisdom of God. Um, but if we do it too much on our own, or we try to, uh, <laughs> it's going to be very difficult. I don't think you can properly do it without God. At the end of the day, we want to love others. We don't want to condemn or judge others. It's not for us to say whether someone's going to heaven or hell. But when we are led by the Spirit and sharing the Word, um, we pray that God will help us share the Word the right way, the way He intends for us to share it. That I believe is with love, um, not to the point of screaming in each other's faces. Anyways, um, Atisele is back. Hey, Atisele, if you want to request, please come up. we will be happy to have you back on the show. By the way, Samanga Bangapasa, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. Uh, we're just diving into some some scriptures that's good for spiritual warfare to, to have memorized in your mind and put in your hearts sealed in your hearts for when those uh, spiritual warfare moments come up of temptation, temptation, anger, whatever it may be, um, that we are prepared for it spiritually to be ready. So we went over Ephesians chapter 6 verse, uh, chapter six, verse 10 and on, I believe. Uh, it's the armor of God. Um, that's powerful scriptures. The, the word as your sword. Um, shield of faith. <laughs> Uh, we talked about where there is no temptation from God. God isn't the one who does the temptation or evil. It's not from God. God doesn't do that. He doesn't tempt you. Uh, it's it's the devil. We went into scripture um, talking about how God will always provide a way out. Uh, there's always a way of escape um, when we focus on God and pray and listen to worship music and have fellow uh, reach out to a fellow Christian. Um, who, will deliver, who God will use to help help you, to deliver you out of that. But at the end of the day, it's God who will deliver you from that evil. You just got to trust in Him and pray. So there is not, there is no temptation that's too much for us to handle. There is a way out. Um, if we went into scripture about how if we resist the devil, he will flee. And you have to resist him with God. He through saying, in the name of Jesus, devil will leave. He will go. He, it says in the word, the word is the truth. He will flee from you. It's the name of Jesus is powerful. So, we have Sele. She's joining back on the stream. I'm really sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. How's everything? Oh, Don't worry. The net totally okay. is not working okay here. You know. Oh, but it's on again. 
Yeah, I have to sing my third song. Yeah, I have to sing my third song again.